What is up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So today we are gonna be doing a guide on Samson the Masher. And I just wanna do a shout out to Monkey, um, someone from uh, Global Elite Clan. He has been asking me to do a guide on this champion for the longest time. He hasn't actually got him yet, but he loves monkeys, AKA the reason why he's called Monkey, but he loves monkeys. Uh, even though this guy is an ape or gorilla, uh, but he really wants his champion. So when he does pull him, uh, he'll have a guide already set out on how to build him and what to do. So let's check out this guy um, in reviews. So personally, I do feel like he's more built for arena. And as you can see, arena offense 4.2, arena defense 4. Uh, yeah, he'll be solid for faction wars. He will definitely... Be, you know, you could definitely use him up to stage 21 for sure. Uh, campaign, definitely better options. Uh, Minotaur, he can probably solo it, to be honest. Clan boss, dungeons, um, Hydra, uh, Iron Twins, Sand Devil. He's not going to really do anything for you there. So it's definitely just going to be using him for Arena. He is really good for Arena, though. Um, I've been using him there just to counter certain team comps that I come up against a lot. And that's um, if you've got the Duchess and Candrophon or Duchess and Harima. He's really good counters to both of those um, team comps. So yeah, definitely a strong champion in that respect. He doesn't hit the hardest, in my opinion. Uh, mine is built pretty well. So let's go through his gear quickly. So I've gone for Perception and Lethal. So of course, Lethal is basically just Savage with that extra percent, 10% chance uh, crit rate built in. And Perception, just to give him a bit of accuracy, which I'll go through later about his A1. But he does have a stun on the A1, which is obviously the strongest CC um, debuff that you can get in the game. So, substats we're looking for, just um, speed, crit rate, crit damage, and HP percentage. Because he is a HP champion, and he's going to do more damage with the more HP he has. But it also makes him really tanky as well, having all that HP and really hard to kill. But not only, um, you know, well, let's just look at his tail stats actually first. So 86k HP. Um, you can try and put some defense on him as well. So 2.5k, it's okay. If you get to 3k or 3.3k, that'd be really nice. Um, 184 speed. So you want about 180 to 200 speed for arena with him. I and mean, you could definitely build him faster if you wanted to. Um, just depends on your speed comp, uh, speed comp, but obviously higher end arena, you want to be a little bit slower, a row between 180 to 200. Crit cap, as much crit damage as possible, and um, accuracy, I'm a little bit low, would like that to be sort of more 250, but um, it's not too bad though, because he does have an increased buff on his A3. So increased accuracy buff on his A3. So let's look at his passive first. So decreases the damage this champion receives from critical hits by 20%. That is massive. I mean, first of all, so he's a HP champion. We're going to stack HP on him. So he's nice and tanky anyway. But champions are going to do less damage to him, especially nukers, obviously. when Because all nukers are going to crit on him. And we're going to reduce that damage by 20%. That is massive. I mean, this guy, I've seen him take hits from Rotos. Like I had a Rotos popping off on me and he took like four hits in a row and he didn't die. And, you know, I'm going against like top level players in Live Arena. But also what's really nice is whenever he's hit by a critical hit, he will counterattack. Also has a 50% chance of counterattack if it's a strong, normal or weak hit. So it's either it's going to be a counterattack or it's a 50% and that is massive. Um, and then on his A1, attacks one enemy two times and has a 45% chance of placing stun debuff. So this pairs up really nicely with his passive and he is going to be um, counterattacking a lot. And that's why you want him to have a little bit of accuracy just so you land this debuff. And the chances are, if you know, if their nuka hits you, they're going to crit they're going to crit you you're going to turn around you're going to hit them with a1 and you're going to lock them out for another turn it is just super annoying to come up against and um, then his uh, a3 increases his uh, sorry increases the accuracy of all allies for three turns 
also places a 30% increased critical um, buff on this champion for three turns, then grants an extra turn. So that means, you know, so we've got 270 crit damage. That's going to be 300. And then we're going to turn around and just smack the team. Uh, A3 is an AoE hit. If you kill a champion, it grants an extra turn. And um, it also removes increased debuff from all enemies before attacking. That's really nice. Um, you know, there's some champions that do put out increased debuff. And there's a lot of, um, you know, meta champions, support champions that are going to throw out increased debuff. And we're going to strip that and then attack. But the thing is, though, you know, that's probably going to be more on the, the nukers or the strippers. The support champions are going against... They're probably going to have a lot of resistance and we're not going to be able to strip it. I don't feel like it's worth really investing in accuracy. You definitely want it to be a nuker. You want to hit hard and you want to wipe the enemy team. Uh, blessings, 100% I'd go Soul Reap. Um, but there's definitely some other options where you could go Polymorph. Um, and with Polymorph getting nerfed, however, because you're going to have accuracy on this champion, Polymorph will still be a viable option on him. And that can be another annoying form of CC. Uh, other blessings I might would consider taking maybe Life Harvest for Live Arena because you get so many re um, like reviver comps and basically when they revive a champion, they're going to have, a, you know, you're going to destroy their max HP by a certain amount whenever they're revived. And that means that they're going to be easier to kill and that's going to sort of a good way to deal with annoying comps. But personally, Soul Reap and Polymorph would definitely be my go-to. Uh, Masteries as well. So he has a pretty unique Masteries. And what we want to do is we definitely want to be taking Improved Parry. So this is going to decrease the damage this champion receives by 8% from critical hits. So this is going to stack on top of that 20%. So that's 28% damage reduction from critical hits that is it's just insane just insane um yeah wisdom of battle is really nice so it has a 30 percent chance of placing block debuffs on this champion for one turn after he's been stunned sleep fear true fear freeze or petrification so really really nice so when those debuffs expire he'll put block debuffs on himself and that's that's really nice that is a nice ability to have and um, then we've got harvest despair not really going to benefit us, but it's just so we could get retribution, just so we've got another chance to uh, counter attack, just in case we don't with our passive, but we probably are, but just in case. So, of course, we want crit rate. Um, we're going to take this. So, if any champions do have shields, we're going to do an extra 25% damage. Um, Ruthless Ambush, so we do an extra 8% damage for the first hit on each enemy. Opportunist is um, going to be a big, big um, mastery for this guy because if they're under a stun and we've got a stun on A1 that means we're going to do even more damage by 12% so that's really going to help us out I think he's got singled out increases damage to targets with less than 40% HP uh, bring it down increases damage flipped by a champion when attacking targets with um, max HP the chances are he's got a lot of HP so this is actually is not going to benefit us actually too much Maybe I should have taken Wrath of the Slain, but then it means that someone from your team's got to die to get more damage. So it's not great. Um, but yeah, but then we're not really benefiting from bringing it down either. So that's that's just an old habit, because usually when you build a new car, the enemy team are going to have more HP than you. But you never know. There might be... There are certain champions that will have more HP than you, like Usaga, for example, or Brogni, champions like that. And then methodical for more damage on the A1 and then kill streak. So if we do kill people, we'll stack up some more. Uh, we can do some more damage. And then, of course, we're going to have to go into Helm Smasher. So that's the gear. That's the masteries. Let's take him into Arena. And just before we hop into Arena, I do want to ask if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. I'm, I'm over halfway to hitting that 1K. So please join me on this journey so I can hit my goal of 1K subscribers. It really helped me out and it is a huge milestone for any content creator. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And yeah, let's, let's do some live arena right now. Let's see if I can find some nasty team comps to go against. Okay, so we've got a team comp here um, with Arbiter, the Rat King, Rotos and Mashul. All I want to do is try and get Rotos to hit Samson um, and just see if he can actually, like, how much of a hit he can take. So SOS, the rope, nice name. 
Um, who I just want to bring in a cleanser, and I'm going to try just try and pick off the enemy team one by one. Just so we got Rotos and Samson um, together. Mm, I'm just going to bring in Leores as well. I just want to try and kill the other champions just as quickly as possible. It's just to play back on full speed. Oh, that is a problem. Yeah, completely forgetting about the... Uh, be able to put the fear on the rest of the team. So you take... Rotos has taken out... Okay, so 26k. Didn't really do much damage to us. And we put him to sleep. Um, let's revive Leores and try and take out... Uh, Michelle first. Just going to increase... So yeah. So we did a decent amount of damage. But that was like... Considering Michelle will be quite weak. He's not going to be... You know, he's a new car... That wasn't a very, very strong hit. You know, okay, so Lurores just done like 80k a hit and Samson done 20k per hit. So big difference there in damage. So yeah, Rotos has taken out Lurores again. Let's try and get Rotos to hit Samson and see if he can. You know, I just, just really want to showcase how much of a hit he can take. Okay, so that's Rotos' biggest hit and was only 35k. I mean, normally you're looking at about 90k for a hit on Roto. So that's a huge amount of damage reduction right there. Um, let's get, let's see if, I don't know. Yeah, we can still win this. Of course we can. Let's just do a full revive. And I'm just going to try and see, I really do want to see if I can get some stronger champions just to show you guys how, how much of a hit he can take because he's a bit of a beast. Okay, and here we go. Oh my God. So we are... The wrong affinity, of course, to Rotos, but like I said, he's not hitting nowhere near as hard as my Leores. I know they're different champions and stuff, but I think that's the difference between them that is Samson is like a sort of like a medium hard hitting uh Nuka. I definitely feel that if you're using Live Arena, you want to try and try and get two champions. And if he's by himself, he's not gonna do enough to like get you the win. I'm um, definitely try to sort of Put some pressure on. So if you've got like a champion like a Hegemon or a Warlord, you know they're going to ban that champion. So you can definitely bring in double nukes. But he's still like quite, he's like, I'd say he's like almost like a support nuke champion rather than full nuker. Okay, so this team looks a hell of a lot stronger. And of course, we've got Rotos there as well. So he's going to get some work done for us. I'm just going to take out um, Hebfrex. He'll definitely, he'll wipe the enemy team. Let's, uh, let's bring in my AoE nuke Valkyrie. Um, she, you know, she's pretty cool and she does pair up really nicely with Samson. So let's, let's do that. Let's just mess around. Oh. Looks like uh, Rotos might not even get a turn. See, okay, he's popping off. He's dropped Valkyrie. Okay, so he's done 28k to Samson. All right, so we're going to have to sort of whip back round. Let's see. We might be able to kill Rotos. No. So almost there. Only 28k. So it's not a big hit. You know, like I said, all my other nukes hit so much harder. I do want Rotos to start popping off. I want him. This is like a really solid, you know, I can see this guy is built pretty well. I just want his A3 to hit our Samson. Just so we can see like, how much damage he can like just completely ignore. Okay. So 121 on Arbiter, 135 on Hedgy. Okay, we've got petrification on us. So that actually does reduce damage. But all right, here we go. Just going to slow it down. 15k. Like the damage difference is just massive. And we're just going to hopefully get just another turn. No. All right. That's it. All right. So I've shown like some losses. I've shown his passive. But now what I want to do is I want to show you um, some actual wins that I got with him um, in live arena against some really strong team comps. So let's, uh, let's just uh, check out those screenshots right now. So just to show you how I was doing at live arena in the time. Um, so leaderboards, we're currently almost in the top 2,500 as a free-to-play player. That is huge. But let's just check out some of the team comps we came against with Samson. 
Um, so this was like a double Rotos team comp with Hedgy. And, you know, Samson didn't get low, like do as much damage as Hebfrek right here. But he did help out a lot. You know, he did 44k. Um, but also, he took a lot of the damage from the Rotoses. You know, like I said, he, he can really take a hit. Um, he definitely has like a place in the game. And again, okay, Hebfrek's done all the work here. However, you know, again, Samson just taking hits from Ronda and Rotos, his survivability. He is just one, he is one of the best in the game. And this is really annoying. Uh, screenshotted this at the wrong moment, but you can see this is like a plat player and we managed to beat him um, with a Ronda and a Candrophon. And yeah, and again, Samson just like sort of just helping out. Um, here he was locking out Ronda and he's such a great answer to the full the higher I find the higher up you are in Live Arena, there's definitely a lot of false champions. And Samson being spirit, he's a great counter to them. So yeah, I, I wouldn't like so my opinions on him is that he's a strong champion, but he's not S tier. Definitely I'd put him as like I'd probably rate him as like B C tier. Um he's got like a place in the game, but he's quite niche. He's definitely nowhere near as strong as some of the other nukas out there. Definitely like, you know, Leores, Hepafrek, Gorgrid, Taris, Harima, Canfron. If you have any of those champions, you'd definitely be using them over um, Hep um over Samson. But he's still he's still a good champion and he's definitely still usable. And he, you can use him to counter certain metas at the moment. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.